Now in the interest of time, I'm not going to go into the page table level view of this particular permutation. I just want to give you the intuition of what the point of it was, because this was the original way to move from 32-bit linear address space to a larger than 32-bit linear address space, originally 36 and now whatever max phys address is. So this was the physical address extensions. And so let's see and understand what the point of this was, because eventually, I mean, I'll just tell you, the, the point was that eventually 32-bit systems started running up against the fact that people could afford more than 30, 4 gigabytes of RAM. And consequently, they were essentially limited that their processor could only do, you know, under these sort of paging mechanisms, your processor can only do 32 to 32, so you could never even access more than 32 bits of physical RAM. So this was basically a sort of workaround until people got full 64-bit systems. And also, from an operating system maker's perspective, it was nice because they didn't have to rewrite their entire operating system to support all the 64-bit stuff. They could make a much smaller set of changes just to the paging infrastructure in order to ultimately access more than four gigabytes of memory. So the intuition here is I said, you know, originally everyone had less than, you know, four gigs of RAM. And so this, you know, first notion of virtual address space was the notion that you could ask for something in the full four, four gigabyte uh, linear address space. You could ask for FFFF, for instance. But then through the magic of page tables, that would get translated into something that was actually within the space that you had physical RAM for, such as 7FFF. And that would give you, you know, accessing the two, megabyte, uh, two gigabytes of RAM. Now, this page table expansion is not meant to indicate that, you know, your page tables got bigger, which they might have. But all I'm trying to show here is how much of the linear address space that this page table can actually access. And it has to do with, you know, the size of your RAM versus the size of your linear address space. So this is the easy case when people could eventually afford four gigabytes of RAM, then you had the option, should the OS want to, to make it so that there was, you know, one-to-one -one mapping. So the operating system would say, give me memory at FFFF, and that could go exactly through to the RAM at FFFF modulo, stuff that you'll learn about in the Architecture 4000 series about how BIOS works, so that would never actually be mapped to RAM. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, we want to talk about the case of 8 gigabytes of RAM on a 32-bit system. You've only got a 32-bit linear address space, so there's no way you can possibly do a one-to-one -one mapping of 32-bit addresses to, you know, 33 bits of RAM. So, you know, someone like Gilgamesh has his extra RAM. Now, the processor, or sorry, the operating system, the processor could say, you know, give me memory at address C000, which is the 3 gigabyte. And that could go through the set, first set of page tables fine, and that would, you know, work out just fine. But if the processor said, you know, the, the processor literally cannot say, please give me memory at address 7 gigabytes, because this is greater than a 32-bit address. So if it tries that, then a whole bunch of nothing's going to happen. It literally, you know, registers don't hold more than 32 bits. It would have just wrapped around and truncated anyways. But the point of this physical address extensions in the original 32-bit incarnation was the notion that an operating system could create a page table that could actually do the work of translating something like give me memory at C000, which would be originally three gigabytes, but the page table could say, you know what, I'm actually going to make that access physical RAM at seven gigabytes. And in so doing, now all of a sudden your 32-bit, you know, nominally 32-bit processor is actually able to access all the RAM and your operating system can not have to use the virtual memory in the swapping to disk sense of the word. And, you know, people are obviously happy that, you know, they put more RAM into their system and it's actually using it. Whereas if you didn't have an operating system that was using this physical address extensions, it was straight up just sitting there doing nothing. So that was the original point of physical address extensions. If you'd like, after later on, you can definitely go back and look at the manual to see how the page tables all break down for that.